here in this class what are we going to learn is this how the graph of gravitational acceleration will look like when we are going deep inside of the earth surface and when we are moving away from the earth surface how this graph will look like and how you can draw the graph of the variation of the gravitational acceleration okay so you have to do that we need to first solve the graphical problem and you need to have the basic idea of the graph and how we can draw any graph okay for example if i ask you uh, if there is an equation is written y equal to mx what will be the nature of the graph you will instantly say that this is a straight line right why you say that because the you know a power of the y is 1 and power of the variable x is 1 so we can name it this one is a straight line when the power of the x and y they are equal the value will be a straight line because this one is y and this one is x so this one will be a straight line we know that Similarly, uh, if we have another equation where we can write y equal to m x square. In this case, you can see that the power of the 1 is 1 y and the power of the x is 2. So, in this case, uh, you know, the, if we draw the graph, the graph will look like a parabolic graph, right? So, the graph will look like this. Now, you need to understand this one, this is this is a parabola, but would that be a symmetrical around the y-axis or would that be symmetrical around the x-axis? So, you have to know that, you need to give a short, right? So, how can you do that? So, if you write y by x, right? So, if you write that and if you just put down the value of the x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x1, y1 and x2, for example, x2 then y equal to uh, 4 right you can see that and here we are taking m equal to 1 if you do that then you can see clearly that here is one point and also we need to take a minus sign so for example we are taking x equal to minus 1 and then also this value is going y equal to 1 right so in this case we can see that for the negative x and for the positive x all of the x's the value of the x's we are taking but still the value of the y is positive in the direction so in this case the graph will look like this here and here because it is symmetrical along the y-axis you can see that the value will never come down in the y-axis the negative y-axis because uh, you know you can get the value of the x minus but y will always be positive and it is uh, increasing sharply increasing functions right function so you have this basic you know this kind of basic idea about the you know graph right so now uh, we'll try to look at how the graph of the gravitational acceleration will look like. So we know this formula G is equal to Gm by R square. Now when we are moving inside of the earth like what's in the previous case when we're moving inside of the earth then the M is also varying because the available mass for you know the attraction force the available mass uh, which is basically responsible for the attraction force is changing that's why mass is also changing and we have successfully changed the mass in terms of density and the volume and we have written in this way 4 by 3 by r cube into rho and here we have r square and if we just you know uh, you know calculate this equation we'll be able to see that g into 4 by 3 pi into r into rho and this is basically the value of the g now if you look closely if i draw a graph of the you know uh, this one if i draw a graph I'm sorry, it's not, you know, uh, being uh, getting a straight line, but still, uh, we can understand this one. If I draw a graph of G versus R, now, now, now you have the idea we are talking about G1 and R1, right? So, this 2 power of G and R is 1. So, definitely, if all the other terms are constant, then it will be a straight line. We know that this will be a straight line, okay? g1 r1 okay we are talking about the variation of the gravitational acceleration when we are moving inside of the earth okay so now we'll try to look at whether the variation of the gravitational acceleration when we are moving outside of the earth we know another formula for the gravitational acceleration which is basically g equal to gm by r square this is not another formula this is the you know mother formula but we are working from the very beginning and if you look at this formula you'll be able to see uh, there are a couple of things <laughs> because when we are moving away from the earth then mass is constant and mass is no longer changing and g is also constant and it is no longer changing so what we can see 
from the uh, that g is only g is only varying with the r square so if g is only varying with the r square then i want to draw a graph of g versus r square so basically what we can see if this is the y axis and this is the x axis and if this one is g and this one is r then how this graph will look like this one is not exactly equal to y equal to x square and this one is definitely 1 by x square right this one the graph is basically uh, 1 by x square now how the graph will look like for y proportional to 1 by x square we need to get that idea first and then we need to draw this graph so if you see that y equal to uh, you know some constant by x square so if you look at this graph this graph i know that this graph is you know uh, asymmetric in it uh, sorry uh, sorry what is that name i forgot the name the name is uh, sorry sorry i forgot the name so uh, if uh, uh, y equal to m x square so let's take uh, you know a couple of readings and let's try to draw the graph for example here we are taking y and x right and then We'll try to you know draw all of readings for example if x equal to 0 then 1 by 0 that is infinite you know that if y is 0 right for example if y is 0 then x will be infinite also right and if x equal to 1 then we can see that y is also 1 right this three value from this three given value we can easily get the graph okay so how can you get that so for example over here if i write down the value of x equal to 0 y equal to infinite that means at this point the value of the g is infinitely large infinitely large okay and also at this point of the y x is infinitely large so we are plotting one point over here we are plotting another point over here so now another point we can see that x1 y1 that means if this is one and if this is one of the y-axis then there is another point so now our job is to you know you know con connect these three points right here and it's going here and this so on and this is a graph which is basically look like uh, uh, you know the hyperbola kind of thing but it is not actually hyperbola this is rectangular hyperbola okay we, we name it that rectangular hyperbola so if we you know extend this graph in the negative side also this graph will form in the third coordinate if you look very carefully this graph will form in the third coordinate because it is, uh, I'm sorry, no, sorry, sorry, this will not be there. The graph will extend if you just uh, write down the negative value. For example, if you write the negative value of the x here and this will be positive over here. So, what I can get out of it is that the graph, when we extend the graph in the negative axis, then this graph will look like this it will be symmetrical around the y-axis okay so we got the idea when we are moving outside of the earth the graph will look like a rectangular hyperbola but when we are moving inside of the earth the graph will look like a straight line okay so now how can we combine these two graph all right so let's uh, you know draw the graph over here okay so let's draw a graph over here okay so let me introduce our uh, axis over here insert axis okay and then insert a circle this is art all right and yeah kind of it's not perfect but yeah you can get the idea and this graph will look like from here to here and change the color i'll change the color and this graph now when I am moving outside this graph is going to be a rectangular but it will never touch the x-axis okay it will never touch the x-axis because we know it will touch the x-axis when we approach in the infinite infinity then it will touch so before that it will definitely not touch not touching you know the x axis this is the art i'm making a little bit you know illustration no right so this is art it kind of look like art 
Okay. So now, as you can see from the diagram, this radius is R surface, uh, sorry, radius of the earth. This is the surface of the earth. Okay. And this one is the, you know, moving away from the earth. So, and this point is indicating the center of the earth. And at the center of the arc, the gravitational acceleration, you can see that this value is the gravitational acceleration and this is the distance, distance from the center. So, at the point, at the origin or the center of the arc, the value of the gravitational acceleration is zero. And when you are slightly moving away from the center, so you are moving away, moving away, moving away, moving away, then the value of the gravitational acceleration is also changing, increasing, 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 increasing. And at this point, at this point, right that this is the maximum value of the gravitational acceleration that we can get and this value is 9.81 meter per second square and this is the peak value of the gravitational acceleration and when we are moving again from the surface of the earth towards the sky towards the universe then the value of the gravitational acceleration is also start falling so now this graph is equal to g proportional to 1 by r square graph and now this graph is g proportional to r graph now you can see the clear idea why this one is a straight line and why this one is a rectangular hyperbola right and the value of the gravitational acceleration is maximum over the surface of the earth it will be you know it is uh, it will decrease when you move away uh, either in the upward direction either in the downward direction but the nature of decrease of the gravitational acceleration is different for the two different cases okay that is the basic idea of the gravitational acceleration and the decrease of the gravitational acceleration now the question may come in this way so where the gravitational acceleration uh, uh, is equal okay so for example for the depth we got the formula uh, let's say uh, g dash is equal to 1 minus h by r okay uh, and this is basically g when we are talking about the gravitational acceleration in due to the depth change in the gravitational acceleration this is in decreasing and again g dash for the height so we are taking a different color for example g dash for the height is equal to 1 minus 2 h by r into g right so now where the change in gravitational extension will be equal and what will be the relation between the depth and the height where the gravitational extension will be equal or the change of gravitational action will be equal let's say this h equal to d which will basically represent the depth so this equation will become that 1 minus d by r into g so for that particular case when g dash that means g dash for the you know depth and g dash for the height when that will be equal then we will be able to write 1 minus d by r into g is equal to 1 minus 2 h by r into g and if we just cancel g from the both side then we'll be able to see now we left out with d by r is equal to 2 h by r and this equation will end up getting the d equal to 2 h and which is basically indicating that at the depth equal to the twice of the height uh, and that particular point the value of the gravitational acceleration will be equal or the change in the gravitational acceleration will be equal right so uh, in other words we can see that uh, the gravitational acceleration is decreasing faster when we are moving inside of the earth and the gravitational acceleration is decreasing a little bit slower when we are moving away from the earth and also from this diagram we can easily get that right the value of the g is sharply decreasing and the value of the g is not that sharply decreasing but yeah it is decreasing but it's not that you know sharp all right so now let's get back to our you know the satellite case and let's get back to the potential due to our gravity that case and we'll you know, discuss in